We began the research work in 2004 uh, and it took probably a year, a year and a half to, to get it to a product that we were ready to commercialise. Um, so it, really that was pretty quick, all things considered. And um, in terms of take up, what, what we saw was a sort of doubling of the use almost every year. So it's got to the stage now where between five and six million lambs are being treated per year with the product, which is, you know, fantastic take up rate. We were so encouraged by the effectiveness of the topical anaesthetic preparation for the mulesing wound. So we're now looking at how effective products like trisulfan can be for other farm animal procedures, um, particularly castration, tail docking, dehorning, branding, uh, all those sort of procedures that are currently carried out in animals around the globe, mostly without any, any um, pain relief at all. Globally, the issue of dealing with farm animal pain is growing enormously. It's becoming a, a, a big issue in EU, particularly in the pig industry um, and North America in the cattle industry. I think people are just uh, more and more becoming aware or, or um, reaching the stage where it's just becoming unacceptable to undertake surgical procedures on animals without without effective pain relief of some form or another. So the big challenge to us is to come up with products that actually can be used to achieve, to achieve the sort of pain relief and wound healing that we would like to see. I always knew it was going to be difficult to deliver some sort of all-in-one magic bullet solution where you, you, know, you give them the, the animals just one medication and that relieves everything. Um, so what we've done is we've broken it up and the um, topical anaesthetic designed to be sprayed onto the wound immediately when it's created and it numbs the wound and then deals with the post-operative pain which is you know the bulk of the pain that is created by the procedure. Um, now we're coming back to look at whether we can also develop a pre-operative medication that deals with that la the, the pa pain of the procedure itself which is that kind of last 10%. It's been incredibly rewarding to, just on a personal level, with my own sheep, uh, to look at the difference in the lambs um, treated with the pain relief versus not treated with the pain relief. You know, uh, I think the difference, you can see the difference just in the way the lambs respond to the surgery and the way they recover. And to know that that is actually going on across the country on such an enormous scale, um, it, yeah, it's incredibly rewarding and it inspires me to keep going.